Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Day six of the 75 hard challenge. We're doing well today. I'm gonna go on a run this morning to the gym. And then after the run, I'm gonna hit the gym. Bicep, tricep session. It's Saturday right now. West Ham on, on Teddy, 12.30. Come on, up the irons, playing Chelsea. So good day, good day to watch. Gonna get a gentle jog, four minute. Four minutes, 4K. Just want to say thank you for the support. We've had another great week in Platinum and Free Trading Group. Even though Friday wasn't the best yesterday, doesn't really matter. You know, we've had a great week moving forward. And then hopefully we're going to set ourselves up nicely for another good week. The time to get on this run. I don't know how to feel if I'm honest. We're on the sixth day. You know, we've still got a long way to go. But I want to see change. I want to build momentum. And I know once like, i might be achy i might be tired when it's no there's no discussion with yourself you're gonna do it or you're not and once you just get it done you know it's just time time passes you just got to do the activity and make sure you show up for yourself that's like the main thing of this challenge showing up for yourself try not do the drinking and all that sort of stuff which only brings you downhill because you're hungover, you miss a day, that day is costly. How many days a year are you hungover? All this sort of shit. Same with being fit and active. Once you're fit and active, it's easier. But when you're at a stage where it's hard, everything's hard, you gotta keep pushing on and not give up. Because it will get easier at some point. Right now I'm fucked though. But with this being said, let's go get a, a three, four K in. Three K done. Oh, it never gets easier that, I tell you. But obviously I've had no break as well, which is probably one of the things that fucks you up with this challenge. You need to learn to recover fast. Good session today though. I've only got bicep and triceps, so that's a good session, abs and then sauna. So that's a quick one today. Ain't gonna take anything longer than, than an hour, hour and 20 for both. So that's something, that's good news. Let me know if you guys had a good trading week this week as well. I mean, we did, but it's hit and miss as well. But FTMO 100k, I failed it. Me and my mate were doing it. To be fair, we was 1% off passing and then it just backfired. He woke up, took a trade, lost like 4, 4k, which is 4%. We had 3% to play around with, but just blew it on the same day. Went over the uh, daily drawdown. That's why you got to risk manage and take it slow. And if you're in profit, then do smaller profits. So if you're about to pass, just do like a 0.5 or do like a 0.25 sort of thing you know but we move hopefully this this is motivating you guys to start grinding but yeah let's see how it goes ah oh, there's nothing better than a fresh iced coffee in the morning ah back like we never left oh now i've finished that run and this is the actual truth behind fitness as well uh, this is the real truth when you do the run even though it was 3k and it was difficult it's not even that much kilometers, but when you get it done, that feeling afterwards, you get endorphins, you get like head rush. It's just that accomplishment feeling. And now I'm here in the gym, bicep, tricep, getting it done, and then bosh, done for the day on a Saturday, six days in. It's like Fizzwiz is the, is the dude that's uh, just done it. His last day was yesterday, so hopefully he uploads it today. <sighs> He's lost, he lost a lot of weight, routine was better, and uh, just all round, better mindset, positive in pretty much every outcome instead of having a defeatist mentality. And that's what this is about. This is what this is for. To so make sure you keep pushing yourself, make sure you keep keep disciplined and try and every day better your, better your life. Every day, continuously do the same things. And it's kind of true, like when you take days off or you, or you, you know, you're on over or you're busy, it's hard to then get going again. But when you just don't give yourself any option, it's like, well, today I have to run. Or I have to do cardio and today I have to hit the gym no matter what. It's like you just have to put up with it, do you know what I mean? Like it's just a non-negotiable uh it's just non-negotiable with yourself. And that's when it's non-negotiable, you have no choice but to do it. So you stop bitching about it and you just figure out how, to, how I can get it done or how quick I can get it done. And it's better definitely to get it done in the mornings than it is later in the evenings. Yesterday I took took my time. But I had to get it done, I still got it done. When you do it in the mornings, you have the whole rest of the day, so you're not panicking about sorting it out. And also, even if you have work at nine and you've got to get trained at seven or six, you can do, wake up at five, 
or get to work early and still put it in. Don't let your job, don't let other things in life ruin your progress with yourself. And um, that's also friends as well. You know, you going out drinking all the time or doing social socializing with, with your pals and that. That's okay, that's fine. It's good to see your pals. It's good to socialize, but you gotta keep in mind, you don't need to full send it 24 seven all the time. You don't need to, what are we doing today? We, you know, we're doing this, this is drinking, boom. That's just setting yourself up for failure the next day. And the next day, if you go out drinking, it's gonna be a lot harder to get it done. That's what I've learned. Anyway, bicep tricep session, let's go. Come on. Them little, them little ones give you an absolute pump. Drop set. Get hard. Oh. It's Saturday. Put the fucking work in. Stop being lazy, expecting fucking handouts because it ain't coming. Put in the fucking work. <sighs> Nearly finished the arm workout now. And whilst I've been here, I've decided I'm coming for Misfits Boxing. I go knock out Danny Aarons, Ed Matthews, or whoever they fucking throw at me. I'm coming for you, but I'm coming for you, bitches. Get in there! Fuck around and lie for ya. Come on, bruv. Oh, what a session. 20 minutes now, 70 degrees heat in the sauna. I'm feeling amazing. So, just decided. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna need your boys' support. Subscribe, like, comment follow me on this journey but somehow i need to get myself in this misfit boxing and beat the shit out of someone danny aaron's and matthews finished i'm not as clouded not even anywhere near as clouded i don't think or i know so i don't know how i'm gonna do this but what i know is is that i've set a goal and i'm gonna have to achieve it somehow this is the start of the journey i'm gonna message a boxing coach start getting the boxing in start training and get ready for whenever i'm called upon it might even be a week's notice but i'll fucking do it i'm telling you now for a fact Feeling good though, see this is what I mean, mentally right now, six days in, feeling good, feeling I could take over the world and I'm going to, the next two, three months, it's going to be the best three, four months of my life, I know that for a fact, fitness wise, health wise, shape wise, mental wise, business wise, everything, about to take over, this is what it is, building momentum, now I have the momentum, now I have the discipline, the consistency, the plan in place, I can act on it and take the fuck over let's go saturday we're breathing we're healthy we're living west ham's on soon gotta get dog food gotta get some food in and yeah just feeling good look at that six days in and look at this buzzing off my tits feeling run done gym done sauna done now i've got to walk the dog it's currently 10 past 12 and west ham starts at half 12 so i'm in a bit of a predicament here don't know what to do i don't know if i should quickly go walk the dog now or walk him after the football but it's a very nice day today the markets are shut so obviously you don't need to trade so weekends you either love them or you don't but you always have to back test on the weekends. You should put it in on the weekends. Even if you have a nine till five, start a side hustle. When you finish work, start the side, do the side hustle. Otherwise, you're just gonna be doing the same shit for the rest of your life, uh, which is 
it's up to you if you want to be doing that or not but no one's gonna come save you so like always say put it in just start somewhere you start to learn ways of you know the areas if something works or doesn't work if a product sells or doesn't sell a way to market yourself market your business you got to keep learning keep watching other companies do what they do and then you will slowly but surely grow nothing's overnight and everything's about experience the older you get the more things you do the better you understand and the more understanding that you have of things as well bad habits your failures are wins they're just not wins at that that moment of time but they will become wins because you will learn from the losses so a very good day feeling good i was just uh thinking to myself you know six days in i'm feeling feeling pumped feeling ready to go slightly struggling but not too much to be honest with you just happy to be on this challenge happy to be on this journey on this grind for myself and hopefully i can keep it up and i will keep it up and if i don't keep it up then i'm a letdown and that's how you got to tell yourself you're a failure and you got to change and to make a change you got to do what you haven't done before let's go Whoa. Hello, gorgeous. Fucking taking a shit right now, honestly. <sighs> Liquid shits. The weight loss is coming in. My stomach's in fucking bits. Honestly, I'm battling demons. I might even have to take off my jumper. <laughs> what, what an absolute session. I feel, honestly, six days in, I feel fucking unreal. Unreal. I feel like I could literally take on the world. Yes! Come on! Nando's is basically outside. I've got my own chef. And we're chilling. Come on, what a feeling. It's a new day, it's a new dollar. Currently walking the dog right now. Sit down, Ted. Sit. Good boy. Here he is. You know how it is on the weekend, Saturday and Sundays, markets are closed, so we're gonna do a bit of back testing later on. We've got Man City versus Arsenal today, so just about to watch that game. It's gonna be a nice game to watch. It's pretty much the decider of the league, and the league's only just started. <clears throat> but managed to get a good session in yesterday at the gym. Today I've got to do legs, cardio, and sauna. So that's basically all I've really got to do today with, uh, with, with the challenge. And then back to normal, back to trading on Monday. So really, the weekends for traders are boring. It's a good time to relax, reflect, and prepare for another week ahead of us. 